King eight deuce on the flop, top pair for Seidel. Check. Check from Ling. Check. And Seidel checks. Setting a trap by playing slowly, and it may work with that turn card. The Queen of Hearts gives Ling a pair, but he's still trailing. Nonetheless, he will bet. 250,000 to bet to Seidel. Eric Seidel can either call here or put the hammer down and make Ling pay. And he just calls. So we go to the river. It's an ace of spades. That's a scary action killing card. Completes a flush, a straight. It's an over card. I think both guys would be happy just to show their hand down. Peter Ling checks. And a quick check from Seidel as well. So Eric Seidel is going to win this hand. It's going to be good enough to get him into third place. So he wins this battle of the short stacks. When you've got nine jillion chips, these little victories aren't that important. When you are just trying to hang on and move up, every decision is loaded with tension, even when you have a plush marsupial helping you. Wally the Wombat guarding that one chip with his very life. Action this time folding over to Peter Ling. Ling has an ace six. From the small blind, that qualifies as a pretty big hand, but he just calls. I would have expected a raise there. Well, now Kostritsen with a three four. And he looks like he's kind of got a raise. And he does raise to 120,000. And I don't blame Kostritsen. Ling looked pretty weak with that smooth call. If he was setting a trap, this would be a great time to put it in. Nope, he just calls. Apparently, Peter Ling just wants to see a flop and reassess. And here is the flop, and boy, is Ling going to like it. Well, he needs to continue to act weak. He's flopped trips, but Kostritsen with his 3-4 is connected. And he just checks. And now Kostritsen will count it out here. 155,000. And Ling, right now, playing this very well. If he wants to continue with the storyline, he needs to just call. And he puts out a minimum raise of 310,000. And given the stage of the tournament we're at, that should set off alarm bells for Alex. Uh, 345,000 more. 345,000 more. Coast Streetson apparently did not get the memo. He may think he's trying to just define his hand here. Perhaps Ling is on a straight draw and trying to buy it cheap. But if I were Ling right now, I would just put it all in. He's only got about 400,000 more. If his opponent, Kostritsen, has any part of the flop, he will be compelled to call. No, he just calls. And look at that smile from Kostritsen. He knows the game is up. On the turn, it is an ace of diamonds. That's going to seal the deal. Ling can't lose. Little balk. And a check. Kostritsen doesn't even look up. He's lost interest. He knows he's trailing badly. It is a king of clubs on the river. And now Peter Ling. And Ling will push his remaining 415,000 in. Although Kostritsen appears to be getting great odds here, about Five to one. I can put you on a hand. That is oh, the problem. Only six. <laughs> what hand can he put Ling on that he can beat? Pocket threes? Otherwise, Kostritsen's going to have to throw it away. That would be crazy bluff. But why not? The other hand Kostritsen could beat is a crazy bluff. The way this hand went down, though, no chance. Uh, if it is a bluff, I respect it. Well, Peter Ling wins almost two million chips, and Team Ling excited. Dollar signs now dancing in their heads. Good thing if, if it was a bluff. Don't think so, but... You can get a big prize on a bluff right there. <laughs> <laughs> no bluff there as Ling adds to his short stack. He looks to continue to pad the pockets of he and his friends. More for the Aussie Millions final table after this to the final table of the Aussie Millions from the Crown Melbourne.
We started with seven. We have already lost three. Four remain to fight it out for the $1.65 million grand prize. Here's the chip count, and Mike C's been very quiet, but he is back in the chip lead, just ahead of Alex Kostritsen with Eric Seidel and Peter Ling on the short stacks. Blinds are now 20 and 40,000 with a 5,000 ante. Eric Seidel now with a queen four, and he will fold. Well, Mike C coming up big, ace king, and he's going to raise it up to 120,000. 120, Peter Ling with an ace five. Four handed, that ace suited is a very solid hand. Moreover, Ling in the small blind knows that Mike C from the button with the big stack will raise with just about anything, so oh. it's a very rational call by Peter Ling. Kostritsen is folded in the big blind. Two to the flop. Ace, king, ten, great flop for Mike C. And a terrible flop for Peter Ling because he has connected, but as you see, he has a 1% chance of winning this hand. And he checks. Chris Anthopoulos now counting out a bet. And he will bet 350000 And unless Peter Ling has some sort of ESP, I don't see how he gets away from this hand. And he pushes 1050000 million. And Mike Chris Anthopoulos does not hesitate. He will put Peter Ling all in, risking his last 555000 That is, if Ling chooses to call here, and given the size of the pot and the amount he has invested, he's going to just have to pray that Mike C is on some sort of flush draw. But Ling, I think, understands. He's in a world of pain, oh. and it's just time to hope to get lucky. So he makes the call, yes. yeah, and Mike C, of course, loving what he's seeing. And so is Mike C's posse, while the posse of Peter Ling, not quite so happy. And they understand how slim their man is drawing. Come on. They call me Lucky Ling. See if it works. They're going to change his name to Miraculous Ling if running fives hit this board, or I guess a jack and a queen for a split. Well, here is the turn. No miracles for Lucky Ling. His luck runs out. Not so for Mike C. He takes down 3,500,000 in change on that pot. Peter Ling, however, will leave the Aussie Millions with a huge payday, half a million Aussie dollars. Mike C was patient. He waited for his opportunity. And with three players left, he is firmly in control. And a well-deserved hero's welcome for Peter Ling. His seven friends each will earn over $35,000. What a week. And electricity filled the final table when the day began. But those flames were quickly fanned by a young phenom. I swear you can say I'm can. I... Just three men have survived. Will the Aussie keep the title in his homeland? Come on! Does this Russian have the resilience to prevail? Okay, I'm all in. Or can the experience of a legendary pro overcome all? Tricky check. Only one will win the $1.65 million and be crowned Aussie Millions champion. For Michael Koenig, I'm Barry Tompkins. Good night!